Well, Luke, I just got done talking with Coach Spar, and he said that the offense for Iowa is something that you guys really need to be aware of. Uh, as a defenseman, how do you prepare for such a good offensive attack, especially with a guy like Patan, who's probably one of the best scorers in the league? Um, yeah, you know, they're really skilled offensively, and, um, you know, they got a lot of speed to their game. Uh, I think, you know, just with doing uh, video and just kind of rewatching what we what happened last time and, you know, uh, things we could do differently, things we can get better at, and, you know, just it's all about preparation, so, yeah. What are some things that you guys learned after now finally digesting those two games against Iowa and reflecting on them, doing some homework on them? What do you guys want to do and work on and implement here against Iowa this weekend? Uh, I think you really got to shut down their their, uh, their big guys. Um, you know, they're, uh, they're really able to score and, you know, they can produce. So, you know, I think if we really, um, you know, lock down, they're good guys and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I haven't talked to you in a, a little while, and uh, the season's been uh, an in and out one for you. Have you been able to find consistency when you get in the lineup and get your opportunity? Uh, you know, when you know maybe you, you're a scratch once or twice uh, uh, during the course of the season. Yeah, um, you know, I try to have a strict, uh, strict schedule, uh, same routine. I try to every day as best as I can. Uh, you know, that all leads up with the night before, how you how you sleep, and how you eat the next day, and uh, you know everything like that, so I, I try to keep it consistent. Try to you know be the be the best I could be. I would say so. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. I just try to keep it consistent. Uh, you know whether I'm in the lineup or not. You know just another day. So have you been able to find chemistry with guys despite mixing and matching between different some defensemen that you've been playing with? Is that difficult on you, or is it just kind of come second nature that you got to find chemistry with whoever you're playing with? Uh, I think if I, I think I have good chemistry with uh, with all the D yeah. here, and um, you know, like you said, like the D or the pairs like mix match all the time. So, um, you know, stuff like that happens. You know, you just gotta, you know, know the guy and you know see his tendencies, what tendencies he doesn't like to do, what yeah. he does, and you know, just always be able to support him. Uh, you know, and then pretty much works out. Coach, after the last two home games, the Shootout loss against Iowa, the OT loss last night. Are you guys just chomping at the bit to get back on the ice against Iowa? Yeah, I think so. I, I you know, we, we believe we match up well against them. Um, you know, we're, we're playing some pretty good hockey as of late. Um, I think, you know, in terms of cleaning up our defensive zone coverage um, and limiting um, scoring chances against, that's going to be a key to this series. Um, they have weapons over there with um, with Patan, who's, a, you know, been an NHL player, a bona fide goal scorer, and someone that uh, we got to pay close attention to and make sure we take care of our D zone. You talk about their scoring, is, and especially with Patan, is that one of the best assets of their game? I know we've talked about goaltending in the past with them too. I mean, it's kind of tough to dissect a team on what they're so good at, but which one do you think is better? Um, yeah, they have good goaltending for sure, um, but uh, you know they also have those weapons that we just talked about, and their power play is really good. So um, for us, we got to be disciplined. Don't take penalties because uh, they're going to make you pay if you do, and um, you know so we'll limit that. And then you know we got to get in front of this goaltender as well, and, and take away his eyes, and make sure that we're ready to you know hack and whack, get those secondary chances in the back of the net. You know, you and I have talked about the power play out of the past two, three weeks or so, and the success that it's had. Do you guys look at the rankings, even though you've had really good success? Is it, does it take it down like, man, like how come we're not better than, than what we are right now? Or do you even care about that? Um, you know, it, you know, I'd be lying if I said I don't look at them once in a while. Um, and uh, but but to me, I don't focus so much on on percentage or where you are in the league. To me, it's it's process. Are we getting better? We are. Um, so that's uh, that's a positive. Um, you know, since the personnel changes, I you know our our power play has been well over twenty percent, um, and and we've done a good job. You know, generating chances for our team. I like the way it looks. Um, you know, when you look at the analytics side of it, it's you know we've generated a lot of chances this year, and and. Sometimes the puck goes in, sometimes it doesn't, um, and, and sometimes we're not in control of that. But uh, just making sure that they're getting set up, they're getting the opportunities um, that they need to get to, to have their offense uh, be on display, and that's, that's my job. And then, you know, the goal scoring will go in eventually. You played Iowa two times in a matter of four days, and now that that's done and over with, you got them coming up, what's the biggest learning tool that you learned following that and you're able to process those two games? Well, uh, that's the interesting thing about this league is you play teams, uh, you know, back to back often, and then sometimes you get them, uh, you know, clustered like this, where you get four, four times within the next six games. So it almost 
turns into a bit of a playoff series. And um, it's not so much about the X's and O's as it is, you know, the competitiveness and who's going to want to, um, you know, win that 50-50 puck battle, who's going to want to, you know, bang in that second rebound in front of the net. Um, and so for us, you know, it's there's definitely some, um, it's like a little bit of a t chess match in terms of the uh, uh, the system play. But for us, it's, it's going to come down to that compete level um, and, and just having that willingness to want to, to wanna win.